Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron. I'm playing Super Mario 64 today because I freaking love this game. A little bit of context, I suppose. Not that it's necessarily needed, but um, I started watching Super Mario 64 speedruns like a month or two ago, and it brought me so much joy. And I found just over the weekend, completely unexpectedly, that there was a whole speedrunning competition thing that was happening right up in Maryland. I was not able to attend. But I got my fair share of watching at least seven instances of the game being played all at the same time, and it was such a wonderful weekend that I've been completely inspired and completely obsessed. So please join me in my obsession. Um, I'm gonna play around Mario's face for a little while because it's it's fun to do. Because it's fun and easy to play. That's why. That's why we do this to Mario. Because it's fun and easy to play. We can make him do really funny things. This is my fav my favorite things to do as a child. <laughs> this is really funny. I think it was one of the, um, maybe it was one of the, uh, Mario Party games where, like, you had to get Mario's nose or face to be in the correct shape. I think that's what it was. It might have been, like, one of the, uh, the newer Mario Parties, come to think of it. Because I remember being over some, one of our, one of our friend's houses recently, and we played the game. I, I think the goal was to make Mario's face into, who was Bowser's face, into a particular orientation. And it's just, like, it's hilarious. I freaking love this. I also didn't realize when I was younger that you could actually turn Mario around. Did not know that that was a thing. The fact that there was other stuff that you could do from various different angles. It was just, it was just lovely. I mean, isn't this like the pinnacle of gaming? This is just like, gaming does not get any better than this. Truly, truly. There is, there is nothing better than whatever the hell is going on here. This absolute nightmare feel. Can I please grab your mustache? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Cover, cover that self up. Cover that up, Mario. Please, please. Unless you want to look over here. No. <laughs> this is, this is so funny. I might be doing this for a hot minute. <laughs> I love this so much. Hello there. Hello, it's me, Mario. <laughs> in any case, um, I have fun with this game. I have many times before. I'm gonna start things over. Um, I have an account on here. I have. I've gotten nine stars so far, but this is this is stream time. That means we're gonna start new. That way, the there's no awkward jumps between streams and whatnot when the vods come out. Naturally, that's the only reason why. Peach. Peach, I like your crown. Wish I had one from my own. I do. I do have a peach crown, it's mine, it's lovely. I also have, I think, six inch red pumps um, for the same purpose, to be able to look like a queen. Princess, queen princess, whatever. It's whatever it needs to be. One time, once upon a time, Anna and I went to an anime convention and uh, we, I think we dressed up, she dressed up as Bowser the first time and then I think Bowsette the second time and I've dressed up as Princess Peach twice. I think the wig that brings that whole thing together has been completely and utterly mangled. I don't think we have it anymore. I'm pretty sure it's been th uh, thrown out. But Anna's gotten a lot. She's usually she's the uh, she's the, the the wig master, and I think she's gotten a lot better at that recently. So I think we might have to go back for that again sometime. Ciao! You've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via a warp pipe. Using the controller is a piece of cake. Press A to jump and B to attack. Press B to read signs too. Use the control stick in the center of the controller to move Mario around. Now head for the castle. Now I'm. I'm playing this emulated, so I have an Xbox 360 controller, so I, it does not work the same way, but I think I've done my controls all good. I can do my Yahoo jumps, I can do that thing, I can jump off trees, I can do the pounding of the ground. It's wonderful. It's got everything you could possibly need in a video game, and it's, and it's wonderful. Anyways, I saw so many different tricks over over the course of watching the speedruns over the weekend. And one of the, okay. I was gonna say one of them is Lakitu Skip, as I learned. Um, I, I've never I've never done it. I'm not a speedrunner, um, but I wanna see if I can exploit things because I wanna try to. I don't think I'll ever be fast. I'll never play games fast. Good afternoon, the Lakitu Bros here, reporting live from just outside Princess's Castle. Mario's just arrived on the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. As seasoned cameraman, we'll be shooting for the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle by pressing the C buttons. If we can't adjust the view any further, we'll buzz. To take a look at the surrounding, stop and press up. <laughs> 
press A to resume play, switch camera modes with the ER button. Signs along the way will review these instructions. For now, reporting live, this has been the Lakitu Bros. Bros for brothers? No. Bros for... Bronines. Multiple, multiple halogens. Welcome! No one's home, now scram and don't come back! <laughs> no. <laughs> well, if no one's home, then who answered the door? Silly. I've learned... I was gonna say, I've learned of a new thing. I did not learn of this. I have been familiar with the Yahoo, yeah, 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 Yahoo of Super Mario 64. Um, I believe it's called the backwards long jump or the side backwards long jump, I think. I don't really know. Don't know how to do it, but that's not what's important. What's important is um, jumping into paintings, jumping into paintings and hitting people. Especially when the peoples are the bombs. Wow, you're smack in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power stores that Bowser stole inside the painting worlds. First, talk to the bob bomb buddy. Press B to talk. He'll certainly help you out, and so will his comrades in other areas. To read signs, stop. Face them and press B. Press A or B to scroll ahead. You can talk to some other characters by facing them and pressing the B button. I continue to forget. I, like, I think before stream actually started, I accidentally clicked the B button to proceed. Uh, by accident, because I had forgotten that B is a confirmation button in this game, as it is in many other Nintendo games, which continually gets me confused. I have been pretty much non-stop been listening to Super Mario 64 music for the past, like, week, ever since the week, uh, ever since the weekend ended. It's just such a bop. It is very, very motivating. Oh, hey yo. That's pretty cool. Get ex get explosion. I saw a cool trick done where, like, you can take the bob bomb and you can, like, clip through walls. That's pretty cool. Didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, come on, buddy. Help me out, bro. No, stop. I need to, like... I need to, like, figure this shit out. No, please. Oh, my God, please. No, I was trying to ground pound. I'm trying to ground pound here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not, I'm not gonna try to die. Literally, it's the first thing to do. Yeah, come on and get me, little bro. Little bob bomb little dude stop all right enough of that nope heal me with the coin i hope i didn't leave this with claiming that i am good at this game uh because i'm not none none of this is good i'm not speedrunner. i don't think i've played this game in actually years i might not have been years i did have to test this game out when i got the emulation stuff up and running which i'm really excited that i have i did not think it was going to work but it absolutely did I'm gonna go fight. I don't even know what I should be doing. What, what's the what's the goal here? What is it? What should be the goal? Just to play just to play games. Seems seems right. Seems good. Oh, I forgot how to do my jumpies. Let's get them. Uh, dive. That was that was one of the things I wanted to do. Okay, I think I can kick in the air. I recall seeing a lot of the uh, speedrunners do that. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see. I see. So if I don't have any upward, if I don't have any forward momentum and I click that button in the air. Nope. Okay. If I don't have it down on the joystick, it seems that I can kick in the air. That was not something that I remembered. I love how my foot gets all big and whatnot when I do that. Oh my god, stop. Ah! Ball. Ball, 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 ball. Supposedly, and I learned from watching the speedrunners and all the commentary that they were making, that supposedly, after you kill, uh, after you kill, after you defeat, after you destroy, um, King bob there's another ball that appears at the bottom. Also, fun fact, apparently, the balls on the bottom can sometimes affect the Koopa when the Koopa runs around. I didn't know that. I had learned so much over the course of the weekend. Hey, dude. Oh, I probably should have read that. I challenge you, Mario. I have a power star. You cannot. My turf. Turf, turf. Also, everyone was playing on the Japanese version, which makes sense because there was significantly less. There was a significant less, significantly smaller number of text boxes. Because apparently this game likes to talk and talk and talk in the English version. Now, granted, I could be playing any version I want to because of the emulation. But now, who's got the time for that? Jump over! I get him! No, maybe not. I don't know. Come here, little buddy. Big buddy? You don't even like. I don't, I don't, I don't know. You don't really seem that bob -omb to me because if you were truly a bob -omb, you would have a fuse, and you very clearly do not have a fuse. Come on, dude. 
I got you in the back. I hit you from the back. I do a little side flip. Whoop! There we go. Go get him. What? What? Can it be that a pipsqueak like you is diffused the bob -omb king? You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Methinks my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here's your star, as I promised Mario. If you want to see me again, select this star from the menu. For now, farewell. Ugh! And then he dies. It just absolutely freaking explodes. And this carcass lies down at the bottom of the hill to block the coops, to block anybody from proceeding anywhere further. That's great. High score. <laughs> of course. As always, you've recovered one of the stolen power stars. Now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. Try the princess's room on the second floor and the room with the painting of Womp's fortress on floor one. Bowser's troops are still gaining power, so you can't give up. Save us, Mario. Keep searching for stars. Power stars. Powerful stars that... that... To be honest, I don't know what they're powering. I don't, the Mario doesn't get any more powerful. It just kind of unlocks doors, I suppose. Here, talk. Blast off! Help yourself! We've prepared the thing for you! Yay. Maybe I can use my cannon powers to go all awesome. But in the meantime... Uh, and not trying to talk to you? No, no, no. Not trying to talk to you. In the meantime, I'm gonna talk to you, Koopa the Quick, who is absolutely freaking ginormous. Hey, Mario, is it true that you need to pin Big Bob? I'm cool. You must be strong and pretty fast. So how fast are you anyway? Fast enough to beat me? Coop with a quick? I don't think so. Just try me. How about a race to the mountaintop where the Big Bob -omb was? What do you say? When I say go, let the race begin. Ready? Don't go, please! Oh, God! Don't! Just go. Get it over with. Here we go! Hey, 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 there he goes. Nice. Nice. Just get him with the Yahoos. Yahoos. I say that by failing completely. Oh my god, why are you reading a sign, Mario? It's a waste of time. It's an absolute waste of time. Then again, literally, c compared to what I was seeing over the weekend, literally anything I do is a waste of time. Everything is a waste of time. Oh my goodness. Like that, getting hit, waste of time. Getting hit by that giant ball, also a waste of time. It's interesting to think going back to this game after many, many years of playing it on, like, an actual N64 that, like, I just noticed so many, like, I guess, hardware optimizations that I would have never noticed otherwise. Like, the balls that move, they're not actually spinning. They're just moving. Like, there's nothing moving about those balls, like, at all. Yeah, I'm gonna use some of that. That, that could be useful to me. Yee! Give him the Yahoo. Oh my god. Oh, I was gonna go backwards. No, I wanted to do my... Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> I was hoping I could do a side flip, but it wasn't working. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, but it didn't work, so... Let's let's not worry about that. It, di it did not work. Maybe I can do my, like... Uh, how do I do that? There we go. <laughs> I'm relearning all of my controls. It's been a hot minute. I think it's me I've mentioned it's been a hot minute since playing this game, and apparently when the last time I did play this game on this computer, I only got nine power stars anyway. Which is not that much. Huh! Oh, oh, wow. You really are. Really a fast, a human blur. Here you go. You've won it fair and square. Everybody around here seems to have power stars. It's insane. Or maybe the power stars themselves are what allows for the paintings to have worlds on the inside of them, little, little like, mini-verses inside. And without the power stars, you just completely drain the paintings, which seems like it would make sense, but even after you collect all the power stars, there's still so much more residual star power left that you can go back in and just keep doing the same old fun over and over and over again. Shoot to the island in the sky! Reach for the sky, Mario! Just even getting my hands on this controller for the first time in a while makes me feel like I have an, uh, a very... I have quite the appreciation for uh, this game, for the people who speedrun this game, because this is a this is a bitch to control. Like, I, I am not having a fun time controlling Mario and moving around. Even at, before I even started playing and I was testing out stream earlier, I was like, wow, there's a lot of lag on my controller. I wonder if that's because of my settings. Like, nope, it's not. <laughs> it's totally normal. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, that was incorrect. Now what if I go to this cannon, and I shoot from here? 
Maybe a better idea, perhaps a worse idea? Nah, it's, it's a good idea. I'm gonna hit the tree. Tree. Nice tree. Nice tree, Mario. But what are you hanging up there for? There's a power star in this box. Nice find. How did he know it was there? How did he know it was in the box? Because I've watched the same game played, I think, in completion over and over again all weekend. Not by my own hand. Not by my skilled hand. You've recovered three power stars. Now you can open any door with a three on its star. Because we can count. You can come and go from the open courses as you please. The enemies ahead are even meaner, so be careful. Like the eel under the water in the Jolly Roger Bay. That eel is nasty. And is apparently named Unagi, which is fitting because Unagi means eel in Japanese. Or, or so I've been told. And if the world is lying to me, then I guess I'm no worse off than I was previously. It's just how the world works. Bye. Yeah, hey you. Okay, please, 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 please. Oh my god, you're so mean. Get on the pole. Get on the pole. Okay, well, that was that was supposed to work. Don't do it. Oh my god, I thought you were gonna do it. Not really. Now please break it. Please break it. Allow me in. For some reason, some of the most vivid memories I have of playing this game wasn't even me playing it on the N64. It was me playing it in, I think somebody had recreated the game in Roblox. And I think those are some of the most vivid memories I have of playing Super Mario 64. It was playing Super Mario 64 in Roblox, oddly enough. And uh, honestly, I guess that's just a gen- that just must be a generational thing. It just must be like, I don't know. Find the eight red coins. I can do the eight red coins. I can do that. I'm adjusting my lamps a little bit. I changed some settings on my camera the other day. I'm not quite happy with things have turned out, but it's okay. I'm not gonna lag on it. I'm not gonna drag on it. Nobody should drag on it. It's okay. The stream must go on, even though I'm looking less handsome than usual. <laughs> Better do this on myself, uh -huh. I don't. I consider myself a very pretty boy. Not a very handsome one at that. I'm often called pretty by my fiance, which is which is good. It's a nice feeling. I like to be called pretty. I'm so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Pretty and witty and bright, I think. Hey, Coop. Hey, buddy. Can I have your thing? No, no. Where are you, where are you going, huh? Think you can run away? You think you can run away? <laughs> you can. You totally can run away. Stop, please. Not the bubbles, please. Anything but the bubbles. I'm gonna get you. Give me all your coins. I'm gonna try to go for it. Well, I got the whole collecting eight, uh, eight red coins thing going on. I'm gonna try to get the 100 coin star. Yeah, you get out of my way. Not even worth it. You don't even know, bro. Goomba dude. Ooh, you probably can't see, unless you can, but behind me there is a sign that says Super Mario on the wall. Because of my obsession, I have decided that would be a really, really great idea. Oh shit. Oh no! Oh dear. To theme this week's cocktail stream on Super Mario... Not necessarily Super Mario 64, although I haven't quite put together the list of cocktails that I plan on making yet, so it could very well be all Super Mario 64 cocktails. Although, I'm not quite sure yet. I have to go through my collection and give it a check. Um, but that, that anticipates on being the plan. I'm like, I've been so hype about this. I'm actually quite nervous. I'm usually not nervous for a stream to start, but I feel like there's this intense pressure to perform well, today in particular. Because it's a very nostalgic game for me. It's a very good game. I like the game, it makes me happy. But we can all just have fun with it too. That's that's probably a good way to do it as well. I don't think that I remembered that you can actually go around these poles and get coins, but I saw it so many times in the speedruns that now I know. I've learned so much about games that I thought I knew a lot about. Not really. Here's another quick trip. Uh, quick. Here's another interesting bit of info. Every single coin has a couple of random values associated with it, and those random values dictate what direction the coins go. So, as it turns out, there's a lot of, um... There, there's a lot of random number generation that goes into whether these speedruns that these people have actually work well or not. And I didn't know that. Nice. Door open. Door open, Mario, run. 
Go get him, Mario. Oh, not like that. Not like this. Oh god, not like this. That'd be unfortunate. I think I'm missing some boxes. I need a box over here, right? Give me the box. Oh, what do these signs say? That I can pick up these boxes, but not the other ones? Right, can I can I not pick up this box up? I know I can. I don't remember what the point of picking up boxes was. It's just kind of cool that you can walk around holding the box. Get him. And oh, apparently I can break open some other boxes with them too. Get him. Give me my box. I'm give this box, I'm gonna hit it against the wall. I was under the impression that at least one of those big boxes was gonna give me a coin. Oh, there's the coins that I was looking for. And most of them went up to, oh, no, just kidding. Look at you travel. You know, for a piece of gold, or just metal in general, there is a there is a significant lack of friction when these coins get moving. When these coins move, they just keep on going. They do not stop. Until they do. When they get picked up. By It's A Me, Maria. I think it would be advantageous for me to go up into the hill. Oh my god, hi! No, please don't. Kind of think of it. I'm like afraid to get hit because I think that I'm gonna lose all my coins, but I'm pretty sure that's just Sonic. That doesn't happen in Mario, does it? I'd be disappointed. How many red coins do I have? I need to see that. Oh, can I? May I please have coin? Please give me coin? Yeet! Excellent shot there, Mario. I have seven. That's great. I'm missing merely one, and I think it's the one up on the slope. So, I'm gonna grab some of these coins. Get them later. Get him! Yeah, that definitely wasn't going to work that way. No, certainly not. Because I don't have the wing cap yet. Break! Okay. Well, the physics are working okay. Boxes continue to work. No, stop! Why would you do this? <laughs> 69 coins. Excellent. An excellent number. Not quite my favorite number, but definitely in the top five. I think my favorite number is 11. I don't exactly know why. Did that just work? Oh, look. There's a box. Oh, it broke. Oh, excellent. I'm a fan of that. Give me your coins. Oh, no, 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 not to, not to the balls. No. Give me that coin. This one coin matters greatly. And it mattered more than my own safety. Uh, yep, nope. Definitely, definitely mattered more than my safety. Where the other coin at? I think I missed it. Alrighty then. Well, I could go up for that coin. Come on, dude. I thought I'd be able to do my do a triple jump. One. Well, that didn't work at all how I wanted it to. Come on, get get into the wall. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's really difficult to compare yourself to people who are absolute pros. I can str I, I'm struggling just to get up to a pole, like up a, up this little ledge here. <laughs> and there were people playing this game and beating it in almost, like, basically less than an hour and a half. Well, not less than an hour and a half. Was it less than an hour and a half? No, no, none of them were less than an hour and a half. I think the world record is an hour and 37 minutes. I think that's where it currently stands right now. And it's held by Cheese, a speedrunner of Super Mario, who I grew quite fond of when I watched my... It was my first Super Mario 64 speedrun, and it was the world record, because when you start watching things, why don't you start... Why not start at the top? It just kind of just kind of makes sense, at least for me. Makes sense for me. All right, where'd it coin at? Where'd it coin? Nope, nope, please, please. You are so kind to me. Thank you. Thank you, Slope. Slope logic was good to me. Now I need to get the other coins. Well, where could they be? I don't quite recall where most of the coins are, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go around and find them. I guess that was something that I didn't particularly pay close attention to. Like if some of the enemies drop blue coins. The Koopa dropped the blue coin. I think I already got that one though. I definitely did. I'm gonna go up. That works perfectly. I know there are coins to be found up here. Like right here. Nice. It's shooting the bubble bombs. Bu 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 bubble bomb. I don't recall if there are more over here. So I will check. No, definitely nothing over here. But it's a nice view. Nah, just kidding. It's really not a nice view. It's a nostalgic view. 
A lot of hot takes, it seems, that I find in this game on the internet. People being like, it wasn't even that good a game. Like, yeah, you're right. But I get my nostalgia feeling from it, which makes me feel good. And honestly, nostalgia is really all I need for these days. It's wonderful to look back on the past and see where I, where we've all come from. I don't know where I came from. I came from New Jersey. That's actually where I came from. I know exactly where I'm from. Although not in the context of video gaming. I stopped playing video games mostly in college. But now we're back. Now I have a job and it's great. Most of the, well, I have a job and it's great is not necessarily a true statement. Jobs are good, jobs are bad, they pay. And so long as it pays, then it's okay with me. And currently the job does pay. The job does pay, and that's that's very good. It's honestly more all that it, all that I could ask for in a job. It gives me a lot more than that, which is great. It's great. I've recently picked up. I wouldn't say recently. Streaming had to become a hobby that a year or two ago, almost two years now, which is quite nice. It's brought a lot of joy back to my life, and I and I yearn for it. I started drawing again. All the stuff on the board behind me is all hand drawn by me. Not that that's necessarily something to be proud of, but it looks pretty cool. It takes a lot of time. I did a time lapse of one of the things I drew up on the board. It's a little, it's a little winged Mario. It looks really cool, I think. And I was at my, I had my morning meeting uh, this morning, and my boss had noticed that it was drawn in the background. He's like, "Did you draw that?" I was like, "I did draw that." He's like, "There's no way." So I showed him a time lapse I did of it. It's cool. It's pretty awesome. Although to be fair, he was like, "Oh my god, you should totally post it to the work chats so that everybody can see it." And I was slightly embarrassed. I was like, eh, he didn't really want to share it like that, but I felt pressured to do so. And ultimately, there were compliments. And I can feel good about compliments. I'm okay with the compliments. Just something that I try to come to terms with. I'm usually not that, honestly, I think I'm the kind of person who's like, not always that proud of the work that they do. Like, I should, like, I feel like anybody who does anything that takes a lot of effort should be proud of it. Even like, you know, especially when you grow up in the world of academics and grades and stuff like that. You don't necessarily think that when you do your best that you get all the validation for it and you should feel good about it. Cause like, you know, if you try your best and you get a C or C minus, that's kind of like really, really disheartening. And that's the kind of world that I grew up in. It's the kind of world that I think a lot of people grow up in, mostly. At least most of the people I've surrounded myself with. And it's kind of hard to feel good about the kind of stuff that doesn't necessarily warrant, let's say, an A-plus grade, either A, because it just wasn't meeting somebody's standards, or the fact that nobody was grading it at all. Either uh, negative feedback, or just no feedback at all. It's the world that we live in. Sploosh. I don't think there's any more coins to get from these guys. Hmm. Where them coins at? <laughs> Where them coins at? Coins at? Where them coins at? Coins at? I'm inclined to think that I might have missed something down here. Oh, you know what? Pfft, duh, I'm stupid. I know exactly where the coins are that I missed. They're up in the sky. I just hadn't gone up there. I gotta get back up. I gotta get up there. It's time to take this cannon. Whoa, pow. Get in the cannon. Here we go. Where the island at? <sighs> Come on. Get to the island? Yes. Too far away, perhaps? Oh, just right. Oh, my goodness. Just right. Spot on with that accuracy. That was pretty cool. Now, how about... Now, what if, hypothetically, I get the coins this way? Nice, epic, wonderful. But I'm not done up there yet. I need more. Oh, actually, that's probably, now that I think about it, I don't think it's a good idea for me to get all, all 100 coins up in the sky, because if I do, then that means the star's gonna spawn up there, I think. And that's not, it's not a good thing, because then I can't get it at all. Oh, Mario, you're so close. Not really, it really wasn't that close. Have y'all given me the coins that you, that you spawn? I'm not sure. I'll ignore you for now. No, you know what? The cannon doesn't want me, so I am actually going to conduct my research now. You had a coin. Great, excellent. Do you have a coin? Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your donation. Sweet, sweet gold donos from the Goombos. The Goomba Bros. There were three of them. They could very well all be brothers. 
Do you think that Goombas reproduce asexually? Like, do they reproduce by budding? I think that's how most mushrooms work, if I'm correctly saying. What's the maximum angle? Will it will it land me on the island if I just go max ang? Max ang? It totally worked. That was great. I love that. If I can get like four more coins, I'll go harass the bombs to give you the other ones. Maybe one or two? Oh, that's great. That is that is all I want. Bob bombs canonically produce asexually. Bob bombs specifically? Interesting. I wonder if they reproduce by budding. Oh my god, please, please. All I want you to do is explode on me. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead and try. Nope, okay. Well, I was hoping you had a coin in there at the very least. Those bubbles, absolutely excellent uh, translucent effect going on there. Hey, no, 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 give me that coin. I want that, give me the coin. One coin. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Yeah, now I'm really curious. I want to know how these bob bombs reproduce. Could you guys reproduce for me, please? It'd be really dope if you could show me how that works. Like, I, you know, if it involves at least two of you, like, we can make that arrangement happen. Give me the coin. Yes. <laughs> That's a hundo for me. In the bank. Not really. I don't keep these. Yes. I would love to continue. And then I'll go get the red coins, though. Excellent. That was, that was, um... I wonder what my timing was on that. Is that world record? Is that PB? Is that personal best? May have been. Through a mixture of gunpowder and love, quote unquote. Well, depending on the kind of love making you're making, could it potentially be explosive? Her, 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 he says. Giggity? Maybe. <laughs> this sex is on fire. Or, or rather, this sex is explosive. My god. Mario wings to the sky. I can't, I can't do that. I cannot do that because I have no wings. I must exit the course. Direct quote from a Nintendo of Europe. Gunpowder and love. Well, I guess love doesn't necessarily have to be physical love. I mean. It could just be Bob-Oms doing like kissy kissy faces to each other. Or just like Mr. and or Mrs. bob -omb is just like... Mm. And then when the mm happens, then they like maybe collectively explode together. Also giggity. Then maybe that's like what leads to like... Maybe within the ashes rises a new Bob-omb. A bob -omb child, a bob -omb if you will. I'ma get all the red coins. Will I be able to successfully? We shall see. Unless Mario grounds. Dude, seriously though, I'm telling you. Like, I wanna see, I wanna see that kind of bombastic, explosive love happening between two seemingly inanimate, yet rather animate objects. I mean, I guess, I don't know, have we ever seen, oh, no, no, we have seen, I was about to ask, have we seen bob -Omb's talk? Do they have consciousness? Yes, they do. And if they have consciousness, then I believe that they are indeed capable of love, whether that is just an emotional love or a physical love, and whether those two are mutually exclusive, I am not so sure. I am not a biologist. However, I think this is something that could satisfy our curiosity if we Googled it. So actually, let's in let's encourage that. To all people who are curious, um, please look up sexual intercourse between bob -omb's on the internet and let me know what you find. Do not link it in chat. Um, there are children here. Probably. If you link it in chat, I will scream. And then probably delete the message. <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't want to- I don't know why I'm encouraging such behavior. Keep it in your pants, folks. Keep your bob bombs in your pants. <laughs> Keep your fuse in your pants, too. You know what I'm saying? I think you do. I think you do know what I'm saying. Two stars away from personal best emulated ens M S M SM64. I, I only ever got so far as nine stars, and then I grew tired of playing the game. Give me your coins. Thank you for giving your coins. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my god, I wish I had the metal cap. Oh, I want the metal cap so badly. The metal cap is my favorite music from this game. And it's great. And if I wind up getting there during the stream, which I hope to do so, then my god, it's gonna be quite the bomb. So freaking good, my god. I'm gonna do this speed strat. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm stupid. And there's also no boat there. 
I'm an excellent speedrunner when it comes to running things smoothly. Hello, Eel! Yo, is he gonna get the ship clip? I have no idea. I have no idea how to clip through the ship, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it! Get to the, get in the clip. Get in the ship! Come on, Mario. Get through the ship. You got it, you got it. I believe in you, Mario. I believe in you! Get to the, get to the, get to the ship. Through the ship. Maybe I have to go through the wall? How, how does, how do the greats do it? Please come out. Please come out. Hello? Please come out. Please come out. If I pass directly in front of you, will you come out now? Where are the coins? Can we need some coins? I don't want to die. Hmm. Perhaps not dying is a pleasurable option. Come on out, buddy. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Come out of your shell. Your shell being the boat. I want in. I want in. Let me in the boat. Have you done the backward stair thing yet? I have literally no idea how to do that. <laughs> I have not done it yet. I should hope that I will be able to successfully do so, though, at least once. Maybe. I actually have no idea how to do that. I can barely back. I can barely, like, flip properly. I'm not good at this game. If I were if I were working on like original hardware, then maybe maybe I would give that a try. Actually, I I would I would like to know how to do that. But supposedly that's a really difficult move. Will you please come out, bro? Please, please come out. Come out and say hello, please, please. Maybe if I go to the tippy 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 the boat, and then we um maybe we turn back around. Yay! I went to the tip of the boat! He just wanted to see me get to the tip of the boat. That's really all he wanted to do. That's all he wanted to do. That's all, that's all it takes. Now I'm gonna go in here with very little health and probably going to die. This is- this is wrong. This is wrong. Oh my god! Why?! Didn't you activate? Please activate. Oh my god. Nope. Wrong. Okay, well, all of this was incorrect and Mario has died. The game is over. So that's what I have to do. Do I just have to go to the tip of the boat? Is that just- does it tell me in the instructions? Plunder, plunder in the sunken ship, my hearties. Jolly Roger me. <laughs> That's the sounds that pirates make. Pirates say, Arr. What's a pirate's favorite letter? R and be the C. Or, or it's R. No, stop that. Nope, you, nope, you not gonna pass it that, Mario. You so clamp clamp that clam just just like you clamp what, what else do you clamp you can clamp nipples it's a thing it's pretty kinky but you can clamp nipples clamp that clam like i clamped my nip nope or maybe I was not expecting things to take such a sexual turn for Super Mario 64, but honestly, now that we're here, I'm actually quite happy with it. It's just about being ourselves. That's what it's all about. If, get, if you get off to Super Mario 64, please, have a seat. There will be more to come. That was an innuendo. Did you get that? I got that. I was the one saying it came right out of my mouth. Hey, yo, got him. Can you please come out? Please? Please? Please come out? Do I just have to collect all these coins? Is that what I need to do? Maybe if I collect all the coins, then you come out to play. Although that's not how that worked previously. I don't know what the trigger for this thing is. How do I trigger Unagi to come out? Maybe I scare away the fishies. Maybe Unagi is just scared of the fishies. I think in all of my time of even having- even attempting to play this game, I don't think I have even once determined what the causal reason is for that eel to come out of the ship. I think I just needed to go to the top of the ship and just turn around. Is that all it was? Well, it clipped. That was cool. Hey, that was pretty good. Could really use some more health, though. I'm gonna go get some coins first before I completely and utterly screw things up. I don't know the proper order to be moving it. Oh, come on. Come on, Mario. You got it. Oh, no, no, please. There we go. I wonder if there's any game out there that also equivalates my, uh, my constitution, my health, by just how much air that I have. And then can, you know, accordingly, cure my wounds, even my broken bones, by just giving me a little bit of fresh air. That's what it's all about. 
Maybe this one's the first one. No, okay, well, I would find that out if I can actually make contact with the box. Please, box? I don't think this is the right one. Hey! I beat it. Now, I think the middle one's the next one. Maybe? Maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Click button. Oh, sh nope, that's not it. <laughs> A pro would be like, uh, I know what the correct order is. Um, I would be like, I don't. That's okay. Remember, as we discussed earlier, it's not necessarily it's not necessarily about a passing grade. It's about a positive experience. And quite quite frankly, this is a very positive experience for Mario. He's getting shocked with at least 3000 volts underwater. That's positive if I've ever seen it. And correspondingly, there was also a negative. There is no current flow without a potential difference. Take it from the electrical engineer in the room. It's me. But I feel like anybody who at least got past, like, fourth grade could also tell you that, too. Actually, when did I learn about electric currents? When was that? It might have been middle- it was probably middle school. So I think anybody who's past, like, middle school probably- probably is privy to that kind of information. Let's see how long it takes for Cameron to get to the top. Hopefully just seconds. Hopefully not long at all. Alright, you got it. Uh, I hate this. Maybe I just jump? Get it. Oh yeah. Hit it. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Woo. All right, jump. Nice. Excellent job there, Mario. Excellent performance. Absolutely beautiful performance there, Mario. And apparently you can ground pound when you hit boxes. That's a, that's a way to be able to like collect stars quickly. Good job, Mario. Excellent, excellent performance. Plunder in the sunken ship. You've recovered eight of the power stars. Now you can open the door with the big star. The big star. But Bowser is just ahead. Can you hear the princess calling? Who is speaking? Who is the narrator in this game? I need to know. Toad, are you the narrator? Should I be speaking in your voice instead? Tell me what's up there, Toad. The names of the stars are also hints for finding them. They're displayed at the beginning of each course. You can collect the stars in any order. You won't find some stars. Enemies or items unless you select a specific star. After you collect some stars, you can try another course. We're all waiting for your help. We're gonna sit here all day long until you decide to get your shit together, Mario. So please, help us. I'm gonna go up yeah. there. Oh, cool, cool. Gotta love the life. Gotta love that one up. Oh, it's gone. Makes me sad. Can the eel come out to play? I don't know. Can the eel come out to play? I don't know. I am unsure completely. It was really cool watching those speedrunners over the weekend, like, clip up this pole there. It's pretty awesome. I don't remember what they called that particular trick. It was cool, though. Can the eel come out to play? Or will Cameron be able to get to the center of that whirlpool without dying? Maybe. Come on, you got it. You got it. I believe in you. I believe in you, Mario. I absolutely believe in you. I, I was gonna say I believe in you, but I, I do not. I do not anymore. Come on, you got it, buddy. No, I wanted to I wanted to believe. I just wanna believe. You got it, bud. Nope, I'm not gonna do that. I am running out of breath. I'm going to die. Where did Eel at? Unagi! Oh my god, hi! Hey, what's up, dude? Oh, you just straight up killed me. That's so awesome! Nice! <laughs> I got slapped by an eel! Take that out of context. Delicious. Just love it when eels slap my face. Mario's got some very bombastic butt cheeks in this game. I don't know. I, I think the world has noticed that. Very, very bombastic. Very pre present cheeks. And I, don't, I wonder whether they're a part of the animation for, like, his legs. I gotta wonder. Oh, I'm gonna need some air if I wanna play with the eel. Remember, before you go down deep, before you go get down and get dirty in the water, wet and wild, make sure to get some air. You got it. You got it. Come out to play. Yeah, that's right. Come out to play. It's fun. 
Don't kill me. Oh my god, don't kill me. What did I just say? Get the star. Oh my god, please. Unagi? Unagi. Buddy. Buddy. Give your boy the star. Give your boy the star. Give your boy the star. Oh my god. Or you can give the boy the slap in the face again. This is also a possibility. I... I, I cannot even... I cannot even... Believe. I cannot believe that Eel slapped me for a second time. And I can't believe I was into it. <laughs> Excellent. To think that there are so many good players of this game out there. So many of them. And I'm not one of them. It's an honor. I feel that truly, by not being good at this game, that I am in the majority. And that's a... What a wonderful sense of fellowship. Gotta, gotta love that. Gotta, gotta, gotta love that. It's interesting to think too, like, now that my hands are actually on the controller, I feel like there were a lot of times when I was watching these speedruns that, like, the, um, the, the, the speedrunners would kind of mess up, and I'd be like, oh my god, that was such a simple thing. How did you, how did you not, how are you not able to get that? And I was just like, because these controls are absolutely whack. Like, that's why. <laughs> these controls are not fun to play with. Oh my god, I got it. Thank you. Thank you, Unagi. That's the technique that I saw the speedrunners use. You just go from the top of the tail and you go down. After the eel, Unagi comes out to play. Indeed, it did come out to play. Can the eel come out to play? Yes, the eel can indeed come out to play. And I'm very glad that it did. Yo, emulated ROM, Project 64, personal best. Love it. I'm at nine stars. That's no more stars than I had previously. I think it's time for the slide. It's definitely time for the slide. I'm trying to remember whether or not I had like a favorite stage back when I played this. I definitely did not like Big Boo's Haunt. Big Boo's Haunt was actually terrifying for me as a child. It really was. But you know what? That's okay. It's all right. Well, I'm gonna do this thing where like I see, okay. I thought maybe I would be able to, oh, I did the backwards. Oh, uh, that was great. Jump! I saw them do this on, <laughs> I saw them do that on the speed runs too. <laughs> I'm gonna try it again. I have six lives. I'm gonna see if I can do that. They kind of like, they go to the edge and then they butt bounce and then they fall backwards. It's pretty cool. It's pretty freaking awesome. Get him, Mario. I believe in you. Go down to this side and then I like hit the wall or whatever. I maintain the speed. Maintain the speed. Okay, that com Nope. Bye bye. <laughs> it did not work at all like I was intending it to do. But that's okay. It's fine. When you're an amateur, not so speedrunner like myself, we can forgive mistakes. Can I just be like a runner? I don't have to be a speedrunner, but can I just be like just a runner? I run sometimes. If I had a treadmill in my house, I would probably run more, but I don't. Oh my god, you got this! Oh, dude, I knew you had it. I'm gonna go down till I have, like, two lives. I'm gonna keep on trying that. Because it was really cool when they did it, and I don't think I saw any of them mess that up. It's so... Maybe it's so basic. Maybe if I keep rehearsing these strats, I'll be a... Not necessarily a speedrunner, but a spud runner. I will deliver the potatoes. Out of a cannon. Okay, I totally screwed that one up. That's okay. We're just gonna go for a fun slide ride. That, that's just what we're gonna do. Fun slide ride for all. Mario says here we go every single time, but I'm honestly curious, where are we going? We're here in the castle, I got that. So here we go, the castle to go. We already here. Here we go! Back to the slide. Can he do it faster? The answer is not surprising, we know. Probably not. You got it! Maximum speed. Maximum overdrive. We have to cut those corners nice and thin. Just like that, but with a lot more poise. 
Yeah, just like that. So great. Can he do it? Ah! I did it. I don't know how fast I was supposed to do that, but I did it. I'm very happy. Oh, can I have that? I'd love to have yeah. those. That's cool. Here we go! To think I could have saved five seconds if I had just done speedrun strats. If only. Mario! Yeah. Reach for the sky! Oh, I need to use... What? Oh, there we go. Reach for the sky. It's Wing Mario time! Welcome to the Wing Cap course! Step on the red switch at the top of the tower in the center of the rainbow ring. When you trigger the switch, all the red blocks you find will become solid. Try out the Wing Cap. Do the triple jump to take off and press Z to land. Pull back on the control stick to go up and push forward to nose down, just as you would when flying an airplane. I wonder if there are people who became pilots because of their experience with this game. I'm gonna take this nice and slowly. Not, not planning on ruining things. Oh my god, exercise, do some squats, let's do some squats. Let's do some squats. I'm gonna do some squats while wing capping. Oh, my chair is beneath me. Oh my god, I'm completely messed up. We're gonna go around in a circle. Can I get him? Oh my god. Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, I'm using my legs. Oh my goodness. Oh, I also remember too that there is a theoretical limit to how long that I can have this wing cap on. I forgot about that. Oh, yep, that's the theoretical limit. There we go. Oh, here we go. Oh my goodness. I haven't done squats in a hot minute. My goodness, this is tough. You've stepped on the wing cap switch. Wearing the wing cap, you can soar through the sky. Now wing caps will pop out of all the red blocks you find. That was an amazing use of your hats. Oh, excellent. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. That was a good one. In case you didn't realize, there's 10 different possible exercises. And of course, that's an excellent reason to make more. Oh my god, Mario. Apparently, I can't take off when I'm mid-squat. So, that was that was good. That was, a, that, was, that was good. I feel it in my legs now. That's good. It's a good, good feeling. Give me another cap. I gotta get back up in the sky. One, two, well, oh dear. I need to get back up. I gotta get up there. One, two, three. You got it, Mario. I believe in you. I, I, I wanted to believe. I wanted to believe. I was inclined to think that I could believe, but potentially not. Gonna start my stream. Good luck, guy. Oh my god, go get him, MK Bryce. Is it Mario Kart today? If so, I'm inclined to pop on again. I am in the Mario mood. I am in the mood for Wahoos. Wahoos and a whole lot of Nintendo. What is in your endo? Or so the question goes. Let's hope that you beat all of the employee ghosts. Send them right back to their graves, because clearly the name implies that they are all dead. Come on, you got it. I believe in... Oh my goodness. Falling short again, Mario. Oh, come on. Oh, oh my god. Why would you do that, Mario? I don't know, is it possible for me to get all these red coins if I don't, if I don't get them from the beginning? I suck at this game. I'm dying. Bye, guys. To the ground. It's what had to be done. But I need to go back for those coins. I must go back for these coins. All right, this time, it's all about speed. Or more specifically, it's about... Yeah, picking, specifically picking it up speed to get all these high ones and then all the bottom ones too. Nice. That was great. That was so, so good. My goodness. Can we do it again? Nice. That was, that was good. That was good. Picking up some speed too. Oh my god. Mario, please. Yeah, get him. No, my guy. My guy. My guy. Okay, I can at least, I know I can at least get that one again. I got it. I, I so, I so wanted to believe. Mario, no. <laughs> oh my God. I wanted to believe so bad. That's okay. No harm, no foul. We just go back up into the sky. Get those red coins and then not die. That kind of rhymed. You got it, dude. Picking up speed. Not necessarily a good thing in my case. All right, great, great, excellent, excellent. Go around the bend. 
just around the tower bend. Oh my god, stop, please. Mario, please. Stop this! You're letting me down, bro. Little pr plumber, bro. Oh, actually, this works out perfectly. Hey, go get him. No, that's good. That's good. That's good stuff. Now I can just get these two and not perish. Yes! Now I just need to get the star. Whee! Oh my good, Mario, please. Oh my god! It's so sad how that could have ended. Could have ended, he says. Nope, it was just exactly how that worked. How many more tries is it gonna take? How many times, Mario? How many times? Maybe like one more time. I think I've finally gotten my wings, so to speak. Or gotten the, gotten the hang of the use of my wings. Nice. Yahoo. Very good. A very good Yahoo moment. An excellent Yahoo moment. My goodness. Oh, I was gonna say that was it. That was gonna be it, but it was not. Oh my god. Just like a plane would. Nosedive. Oh goodness, Mario. That's okay. You can you can go and get another one. I forgot that I could disengage like that. Come on, you got it. There's one more, Mario. You got it. You got it. It's all you, dude. It's all you. It's all you. It was all you. It was all you. That in physics. It was. Uh, we could also help. Phys we could also thank physics for that one. We definitely could. Although, are we going to? No. Can you? <sighs> Love to see Mario flying right into the star. Very satisfying moment. We like to see that. Snaps from Mario. Very, very good. Save and quit? Shall. No. Just kidding. We take it back. Take it back now, y'all. No, I don't. Oh, I don't want to go here yet. The booze won't let me pass. Hello! Let me outside. I want to go see the booze who haunts. L. L is real. Is L real, though? I forget. Can I go in here yet? Can I actually go into the stage already? Oh, I can? I didn't realize that I could do this so quickly. Let's do it. I'm gonna go on a ghost hunt. It's time for the haunt. Come on in here. <laughs> I will. With or without your provocation. I will do it. Alright. Who needs their butt bounced? The ghosts. Do you need your butt bounced? Of course you do. Oh, you're not gonna move. I thought surely that you would have your need to have your butt bounced. Killer pianos. Heyo. Heyo. Bye bye. Floating chairs trying to come and get me? Naturally. Shoot your laser at me! Ghosts don't die. <laughs> Can you get out of here alive? They don't. Come on, you got it. I believe in you. Look at me. Look at me! And then die. Perish. Give me your coins. Thank you, Mr. I, or perhaps your Mrs. I. What do you present as? I want to know. That's what it's all about. Uh, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Yeah, you got it. And now you're dead. Ghost, don't die. Can you get out of here alive? It's like King Boo is singing to me. You're dead. Thank you. They, yes, I know. I'm aware. Ghosts do not day. And when I get out of your lave. I will. I'm not gonna die. This is, this is so simple. This is the simplest thing to do. Simplest thing to do is to not get killed by ghosts. So easy. So, 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 so easy. Where was the other ghost, though? I take that one. Nope. I want to get up there. How does one get up on the wall? There's probably a way. There must be a better way. There must be a better way, they say. Nope. Nope. Come on, dude. I believe. I knew it! No. I believed. At least I believed. Ah! Have a piano. Piano! Ouch. I'm trying not to. Trying to. Do that thing! Do that thing! Hey, yo! Second floor. There must be ghosts up here, too. Right? Where the ghosties? Oh my god. Y'all suck. Y'all suck. Y'all suck. Y'all seriously suck. Y'all suck. 
Oh, what's the order here? I don't remember the order. Oh my god, that's wrong. Nice. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. I pretty much know what the- Nope, I thought I knew what the order was. I thought surely I would know. One, and two, and that one. I did it! I did it! Now please open the door, and then get on the floor, and please, please walk the dinosaur. Hmm, do I want the star? Yes. Yes, I do. Here we go! Very excellent hustle by my brother Mario. Uh, we are not related, it is merely a social thing. I call him brother because he calls me brother. Brother Mario, take a swig of water. Take a swig, thank you. I will clean that up later. That made a very satisfying sound as it hit the ground and then proceeded to hit the ground multiple times after. That water has got a hint of mandarin orange. Delicious, absolutely delicious. All right, well, I'm gonna go back to the other stages because Big Boo's haunt is haunting and scary and scary, scary haunting. Where did to next? I wanna go to Womp Fortress. This is not Womp Fortress. I'm gonna go to the Snow Mountain. I don't remember if this is Cold Cold Mountain or whatever the other one is. I don't remember the name of this one. Let's find out. Let's give him the slide. The electric slide. Boogie boogie boogie. Slip sliding away at the cool cool mountain. CCM. Snow Mountain Summit, watch for slippery conditions. Please enter the cottage first. Um, no. Instead, I am going to harass this small, young bird, and we're going to go for a ride. No, please! No, I want to take a ride with the birdie. I want to do what the birdies do. Tweet, tweet, tweets. Please. Please. Hello, birdie. Please don't do Please, nope. You're mine now. We're going on a trip to a place called Snowland. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. No, come, come here. No, don't do it. Little one. Little, little one. Little one. Think of how much you have to live for. No, little one. I'm sorry. I couldn't take you with me. Hmm. Well, now that I'm here, I don't know what to do. Guess I'll collect some coins or jump off the edge and think about what I've done with my life. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe I'll go talk to that penguin down there and tell her how much I miss her son slash daughter, child, whatever. I don't know. I'm gonna go back and get him. I will bring your child back to you. Please, please. Th oh. Mamma mia. I was under every inclination that that was going to work. I was wrong. And that's something that I can admit to. No, please don't talk to me again. I don't want to go in the cottage yet. I'm not ready for the cottage. I want to talk to this child first. Child, do you miss your mommy? I know where your mother is. I know where you live. You got it. I believe in you. I believe. I believe in you. Nice job. Don't do it. Oh my god, Penguin, no. Where'd you go? Penguin? Penguin, please. Think of all the little things. The little things. The little things. The little things. Come along there, Penguino. Come along there, Penguino. Nice. Excellent. Excellent choice. Falling to your doom. Excellent choice. Whee! Nice. Come here. And bring you back to your mommy. Or maybe it's your daddy. I, d I don't really know. What do you have to say, sir and or madam? You found my precious, precious baby. Where have you been? How can I ever thank you, Mario? Oh, I do have this star. Then take it with my eternal gratitude. <laughs> I've been keeping this spiky energy source inside of my rectum. Thanks for bringing my child back. You can have it. Yay. Yet another power star. Little penguin lost. It says lost. For a moment I thought it said lost. That would be weird. I suppose, like, technically, you didn't say baby as in, like, you had given birth. Could have been baby like, like all those songs that talk about their babies. Like, you know, like, oh man, my baby. Baby, 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 oh. Like, baby, 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 no. That kind of baby. Which could be lustful, could be longingful, could be something completely different. Oh my goodness! Nice. I'm gonna go for a uh, secret passage, but nope, I completely missed the secret. Okay, and I fall into my doom because I tried to cheat. That's... 
That's what happened to cheaters. Cheaters get what they get. They get what's coming to them. That they do. That they do. Cool, cool mountain. Cool, cool mountain slip sliding away. Into the attic. Get the new coin. Nice. Excellent. 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 I do not have a lot of speed here. I am very unconfident. I, I am not confident at all. I mean, after a move like that, like, how, how can I, how can I be confident, really? Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Oh my god. Go get him. I will make it down the slide. Well, technically speaking, it's not me making it down the slide. It is Mario. Mario is the one who's making it down. Making it down a slide town. Get him! Yes! I just need to get to the bottom of the cottage. I don't need anything else. This is just all I need. You got it! Nope, you don't. Throws a jar of peanut butter at MK Bryce and runs away. Oh, my goodness. Now MK Bryce has a bunch of peanut butter all over him. Unless it missed. Does the jar of peanut butter land is the real question here. I'm very curious. In my mind's eye, it landed perfectly. And by landed perfectly, I mean it didn't shatter or anything. It just kind of like landed perfectly on MK Bryce's shoulder. And he's just like, what are you going to do now? I caught your peanut butter. What now, bro? Who knows? Who knows? I wonder if throwing jars of peanut butter is illegal in racing. I believe he's going against staff ghosts right now. Oh, what was my mission here? What was my mission? Big penguin race. That's what it was. Yeah, that's what it's all about. I'm gonna race this big old penguin. Hey, hey, Mario, buddy. I don't remember what your voice was. How's it going? Step right up. You look like a fast, slim kind of guy. I know speed when I see it. You see me? I'm world champion stutter. No, what do you say? You wanna race? I do. I have nothing better to do, and I bet you've got another power star who's hidden somewhere in your body. Maybe you're hiding it in one of your fat folds. Wouldn't be- wouldn't put it past you, honestly. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. I know there's a way to do this faster, but I'm not confident. Around the edge! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Nice. I don't know if that was faster or not. Oh, it's the home stretch. It is the stretch that we do at home. Nice. Excellent, excellent job there, Mario. Punch him! Punch him! Tweet, tweet, tweet. Tweety, tweet, 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 tweeters. Did I win? Burn broke my record unbelievable. I knew that you were the coolest. Now you've proved that you're also the fastest. I can't award you a gold medal, but here, take this star instead. You've earned it. I've been keeping it in my fat folds. And my fur. I haven't showered in three weeks. It's cold around here. The waters, the, the faucets are all empty. They're frozen. That's why we haven't showered. We all smell like penguin sweat. Because we've been doing nothing but racing and losing our children. Cool, cool mountain. Frosty slide for eight. Frosty slide. I can get all red coins. Actually, I'm not sure if I know where all those coins are. Come to think of it. I'm not sure that I do. I definitely didn't pay that close attention when I was watching the game being played like seven or eight times over. Just didn't pay much attention. But I'll go down the slide nonetheless. That's what it instructs me to do. And who am I to argue? Oh my god, please! No! Oh! Oh my god, look at that! Hey, look at that! A red coin! Well, that's pretty cool. I probably would have forgotten that one was there. Did I make it all the way to the bottom? Where the hell am I? Ah! I did make it all the way to the bottom. Nice. Can I please go back up to the top? I wasn't quite finished up there. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, goodness gracious. Whoops. In case I didn't mention previously, I've been listening to this music from this game. I know it's only Monday, but I've been listening to it all week. 
like for the past seven days. It's wonderful. Specifically, a lot of Hazy Maze Cave. I, I just, I really, really like that one in particular. Die! Or survive. You got a red coin over there between y'all? I got a red coin. I don't remember if y'all got red coins in between or not. I guess not. Yeah, okay. Guess not. Hmm. I thought there might have been one. Nope. Oh, I, there's, the, there's the one I was thinking of. It's over there. And there's also one up on the slope that I do not quite have. Can I bridge the gap? Oh, that's where I need to go over there if I'm gonna get the red coin star. Mm hmm. I haven't done that yet. Hello there, small child. I know you're not the real child. You're just some other random young penguin that's running around without a father or mother, it seems. Oh, I didn't realize that you could kill these guys, but apparently if you go around them, they fall over. I didn't know that! I also learned that by watching the game being played a bunch. Oh, please, no. <laughs> Whatever you do. Not like this. Thank you. That would have been absolutely terrible. Oh, there's a red coin. Oh my god. Seriously, dude. Nah, no, 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 no. Oh my god. Dude, blocking the path again? Could be a little cooler than that, dude. It is cool, cool mountain after all. You gotta be cool if you want to survive here. Hello? Where is my chairlift? Chairlift! Oh, I do see something. Ah, I see you down there. I see a red coin. I do not believe that the chairlift is coming to save me. No, please! Oh my goodness, this is catastrophic. Absolutely catastrophic. That was catastrophic. I died. Come to think of it, it looked like there might have been a breeze that would have saved me, but I decided to just dive bomb off the edge instead. Totally valid. Totally, totally valid. Sometimes this is what it's all about. Just accepting your fate and rolling with it. Just accept your fate. In fact, if I had to give any sort of advice, just just accept it. Whatever your whatever fate holds for you, just accept fate. Okay, I am not quite done here yet. Oh, I can also collect the thing there. That's nice. <gasps> Give me the coins. Clams, 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 clams. I got all the clams. There was a need for cl Mamma mia. Yeah, Mamma mia indeed. I don't even know what the hell that was all about. That's what it's all about. It's all about getting red coins. That's what. That's what. Where are my red coins now? How can they help me? Oh, get out of there. You don't need, you don't need to be in the ground. You're cold enough as it is, Mario, you cold-hearted son of a bitch. Ain't ya. Ain't ya, Mario. Oh, that just had... Oh, that had that thing in it. Yeah, I didn't need that. Get him. Nice. Very, very excellent. It's funny to think that sometimes, as I'm noticing as I play this game, that it lags a little bit. Sometimes the input has some lag to it. But that's, like, totally normal. Like, that's just how it ran on the original hardware. It's great! It's so authentic. And honestly... I think authenticity is what I like to go for. It's all about authenticity. The game could probably run faster, or it could run with mods and stuff, but no, we don't need that. At least not right now. Not unless I get bored. But I'm not bored yet. I haven't done a full playthrough of this in a while. I think the last time I played Super Mario 64 on original hardware, I got the 120th star, because I think I only had one remaining, and I, and, and I did. I, I only had one remaining on the save file, and I was like, wow, I don't know, like, how do I get this? And I just kind of went to all the stages and checked to see what I was missing. And it was one of the hundred uh, coin stars that I was missing. And I think it was in one of the sky levels. It might have been up in Rainbow Ride. Hey, dude, can I have your coin? Oh, my goodness. Well. Mamma mia. My mother. Is what he's saying. Mamma mia. My mother would disapprove of this. No, she wouldn't. She'd be totally cool with it. She, re she would recognize this game. My mother's that kind of mother. She'd be like, oh, I know this game. My kid played this. All right, I will take this red coin so I don't have to come back to it later. Yep, great idea. Now I wonder, 
If I angle myself just right... If I angle myself just right... What are the camera controls? Is, is there a red coin down there? I don't think there is. That's not what I was expecting. But there might have been. I was wrong. Oh, please, Mario, no. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for not doing exactly that. I think you should jump. <laughs> and hopefully not follow your doom, which is exactly what happened. Not falling to the doom. That's what exactly happened. And you know what? I'm okay with that. This is something that I can be cool with. Cool on cool, cool mountain. Back up, please. Thank you. Oh my goodness, please. This mountain is cool. It's a cruel, cool, cruel cool mountain as well as being a, as well as being a cold, cold mountain. Did I get the coin? I don't think I did. I think I completely missed it. Oh, no, no, no. I did. I was... I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking of something. I'm gonna go for the coin down here again. There we go. That'll, that'll work. I cannot see a thing. But that's okay. How about this way? Yahoo, indeed. Nice. Now from down here, I have a whole new vantage point. To get all the coins again. Nope. No, no, no. Not like that. But I can say hello to my penguin pals. Yes, my dear? Oh, what's up? I heard my dearest through my headphones, and I almost fell off the edge, but I am okay! We have survived. What's up, dear? Oh, did I ever tell my did I ever tell my mother what kind of cake I wanted for my birthday? I did not. What kind of cake do I want for my birthday? Well, what I've usually been doing, for context of anybody else, usually what I've done over the past couple of years is every single year for my birthday, I attempt to request a different type of cake. I think previously I've done pineapple upside down cake. I think I've done angel food cake. I've done strawberry shortcake. Actually, have I done pineapple upside down cake? I have. Okay, and oh, yes, Anna has confirmed. I have definitely done pineapple. It was not upside down, but it was just a pineapple cake, and it was a good cake. Now that I recall, as somebody reminds me that I've had it. What types of fancy cakes are there out there? And the thing. The first thing that came to mind was key lime, but I'm not a big key lime kind of guy, and key lime usually takes the form of a pie, not necessarily a cake. I am now going to narrate my entire thought process as I determine what kind of cake I want to make. I want made for me for my birthday. We totally, we totally should, absolutely. And she did ask me on the last phone call that we had, and I had completely forgotten about it. So I'm glad that there are people in my life to remind me of these things. Otherwise, I would be an absolute mess. What types of things are out there? Not a fan of lemon cake. Not a fan of pound cake. I've been told, you know, I want yellow cake. I have been told that vanilla cake is the uber cake. It is the best cake ever. I want yellow cake. I don't exactly know what is in yellow cake, but I've been told it's very, very good, and some would say the best cake of all time. Please don't die, Mario. Oh my god. That is my decision. Yellow cake. Um... You have your phone in front of you. Could you let her know? Sorry, snowman. That's great. That's a great idea. That's a, that's an excellent idea. Then everybody will know what's on my mind. Yellow cake. It doesn't have to be too fancy. Just cake that is presenting is yellow. I think quite literally, it's... I don't know. That might be pound cake? I don't really know. Is cake that is presenting... No, no, no. I think it's actually called yellow cake. I think it is actually called yellow cake. I think it was, I think it was, it was one of my co-workers, it was one of my co-workers who was just like, yeah, yellow cake is like the best, the best cake, and I was like, I don't think I've ever had it, and I, to this day, I don't think I've ever had it, which is why, it's, a, it's all about, it's all about trying new things on your birthday, I like to try new things on my birthday, whether that be a new libation, whether that mean a new dessert, 
Whether that mean new experiences. What did we do last year for my birthday, dear? Do you remember? What did I do? What did I do anyway? I don't recall. I don't want to do on my birthday last year. I don't know. Did I stream on my birthday? I think I streamed late on my birthday, maybe. No, I don't even know if it was on my birthday. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the stream was released. The VOD was released on my birthday. It came out afterwards. I gotta get up there. I gotta, I gotta, get, I gotta get up there. Thank you. Thank you for getting up there. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Star? That was an absolute hassle to get. And in the time it's taken me for to play this stream, we would have a speedrunner out there much better than I, who is pretty much almost done. Probably at the 80 star mark. Absolutely insane. Nice job. Nice job, boys. You did you did good up there. It was good stuff. Where should I go next? I'm gonna go find Bowser! I think my goal for the evening is I I have things that I need to prepare, so I think I'm going to play until I reach 25 stars. 25 stars. That is gonna be the goal. No, 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 no. It is not lemon cake, it's yellow cake. I think there's a Wikipedia article on it. You should definitely link that. Completely different. It's not lemon cake, it is yellow cake. It is cake that is presenting as yellow. I don't know what flavors are used. I think it's primarily vanilla, but it is yellow cake. That instruction there told me how to climb trees. I believe in myself. I don't think I'm gonna die. Not like this, at least. I believe. What makes yellow cake different? Google it. That would be my... Egg yolks! It's got a lot of egg yolks in it. I like rich and tender cakes. Delicious. Nothing quite like rich and tender cake. What, what do you mean, what the shit is this world? Okay. There's yellow cake, there's white cake, there are many different types of cake. Interesting. I would, I would assume, is it different than the other ones? Ow. Interesting. So it's it's just vanilla cake. <laughs> but it's got egg yolks in it. Which makes it What kind of icing? I want Marscapone. My you should speak it into your phone. Is my guess. Marscapone? I think you can do frosting like that. Oh my god. I saw speedrunners get stars by whacking into that corner there. I'm gonna try that. I'm really happy that you reminded me about that, and I thank you greatly, dears. When we're having dinner? Where we're having dinner? Um, when is that again? Actually, I did ask them whether or not what day they were coming up this week, and nobody responded. <laughs> I think I said, "Is it this day or the other?" And my brother was just like, "Uh, both work." Chocolate and lemon? Ew, what? Wait, who said chocolate and lemon? That sounds... I don't like the idea of that. Should make a cocktail with that with that flavor combo. Chocolate and lemon. Chocolate and lemon. Should be the ones. Oh my god. You need to, you need to chill out. And per wow, right in there, piranha plant. Excellent. Excellent choice. Wow, that sucked. Wow, I ter I'm terrible at this game. I suck at this game. But at least we're having fun with it. A chip off the wasp block. Hello, the Lakitu. Oh my god. Hello there, Lakitu brothers. Cutting in with a live update on Mario's progress. He's about to learn a technique for sneaking up on enemies. The trick is this he has to walk very slowly in order to walk quietly. And wrapping up filming techniques reported, reported on earlier, you can take a look around using C right and C left and press C down if you action from a distance. When you can't move the camera any farther, the buzzer will sound. This is the Lakitu bros signing off. Peace out, bros. Keith out, broth Keith. Love your commentating. It absolutely adds to the experience and doesn't detract from it whatsoever. 
I assure you. I was hoping that I was gonna absolutely beat your ass, but nope, that didn't work at all. <laughs> None of this is working. I'm gonna just keep going forward. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just keep. Oh my God, why? Mario, why? Mario, 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 Mario. Why do you do this to me so? I, I brought this upon myself. I, I brought this upon myself. Get him, buddy. You, you got it. You got it, you got it, you got it. Oh my god, you got it! Oh, thank goodness, Mario. You're so good at this game, Mario. Very much so. That is definitely not me attempting to hype myself up. Alright, I'm gonna go beat beat this guy. I saw the speedrunners also doing ground pounds to, to let this guy hit on top of him. I'm gonna try that. Oh my god, Mario, please. Mario, what are you doing? That didn't work at all. My god. How do I ground pound again? That's how I do it. Okay, that didn't work either. <laughs> I'm gonna try it again. I did it! I did the trick! Oh my god, that was so awesome. Okay, and I failed the other time, but I did it at least once. I warped through the wall. That was so good. I'm gonna get a get him over, my goodness. I'm doing terribly now. It's because I'm going around haphazardly. It happens. I wouldn't say that uh, any of this is uh, display of... Got the message. What do you mean? I want yellow cake. I don't want lemon cake. Oh, that sounds terrible. I don't want lemon. I'm actually not a big fan of lemon. Not a fan of lemon. Not at all. Oh, dear. I was trying to get past the... You. I almost did, too. I'm gonna jump across, just like I did before. Nice. That was so good. That was so good! So good. It's all about confidence. Even even if you're not good, if you just say that you're good, then it means that you are good, right? I'm so good, I'm gonna beat you in two shots. I'm gonna do that trick again. Oh my god. Mario, why? I did the trick again! Oh my god, I'm so good at Mario! Oh my god, I did it again! I'm super good at Mario! It's all about timing. And actually, now that you just get it... No, question get up, Mr. Stepping Stone. After all, I will gravel, er, gravel, ear you win. Take this with you. Power Star, after absolutely dying. Explosion techniques. It's what intimidates our enemies. Here we go! I got the chip off Womp's back. Hey, yo. Got him. It's because he had a big old bandage in the back. The bandage in the back is supposed to instruct the player to ground pound when he flops over. It's just how it is. To the top of the fortress, the Womp Fortress, where this is the Fortress of Womps. That's at least what they've been telling me. And if, I, if I've learned anything, it's to believe them. Whoever they are, believe them. They most definitely have your best interests at heart. And they're definitely not trying to pull one over on you, for sure. Because that would be terrible. You know, speaking of the world trying to pull one over on me, I have been being told, I've been told for the past year or so, that if I keep my bicycle outside with my lights on them, then my lights will eventually be stolen. And lo and behold, it finally happened today. All, all of a sudden, so daylight savings time just rolled over. So now it gets darker earlier, oddly enough. And so as it turned out, I went to my bicycle and as it started getting dark, there were no lights on it. I was like, oh my God, it finally happened. Somebody finally stole my bike lights. They were pretty cheap and I was looking for an excuse to get new ones anyway. And this is finally my excuse to get better bike lights, but somebody finally did it. And that like, I I wasn't gonna be angry about that because I was expecting it to happen anyway. Probably should have brought bought backups ahead of time, but whatever. But the thing that got, that really grounded, grinded my gear was the fact that not only did they take my bike lights, but they also took a little lanyard that I had wrapped around my bicycle that said 2021, because that was the year that I graduated college. It wasn't even my own like little lanyard thing. I had found it on the ground, somebody was throwing it away, so I attached it to my bike. So it was never mine to begin with, but they decided to not only take my bike lights, but they took that too. Like, why? Like, why would you take that from somebody? It makes no sense. It was, I think, it was more effort to take that off of my bicycle than it would have to, to just take in the lights. I was like, what is up with that? It's crazy. 
Mario's back, and I died. That's okay. Nice. Back to my stream file. Mario B. Mario in Studio B. Coming at you live. Lakitu Brothers. Um, bop. You again. Yes, dearest! What flavor Mars Capone? I don't know. There are multiple flavors? I, I don't know what the different flavors of Mars Capone are. How about uh, vanilla Mars Capone? I don't know! <laughs> I'm confused. Back to the Fortress of Womp! I think, right? Maybe I should go back to the Fortress of Womp? Oh, I can also go back to Bomb Battlefield because I got the wing cap. I think I can safely put my headphones back on. So much attention I'm getting for birthday stuff. Being that the cat's out of the bag, my birthday is this month and is in about a week or so, so... Nobody has to do anything special. Please don't get me a gift. You don't need to. I have enough. I have enough in my life. I got a whole lot of love. A whole lot of love in my life. You know, I'm supposed to be over here. I'm supposed to talk to you. Hi! I'll prepare the cannon for you! Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so very much. Ready for blast off! Come on, hop into the cannon! Which is the voice that I decided to give a bob on. That's just how it is. Into the canon! It's cannon, that cannon. Cannon, 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 cannon? I know where I'm supposed to be. Right there. Oh. I broke it. I wonder, like, I think I always was confused about that star when I was very, very young because, like, I, I didn't know that there was, like, a means to break that wall. Nice. Excellent star. I don't even know which star that is, to be honest. I think I discovered that much, much later. But it's okay. I saw, like, the speedrunners be able to, like, clip into it and grab the star. That was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool move there. Just have to walk gently. If you walk gently, you're bound to do things correctly. Or you're me. And you walk haphazardly and quickly. And you can do whatever you want to. I'm just trying to channel my inner speedrunner. That's what it's all about. If I channel my inner speedrunner, I can't possibly mess up. That or I'll just mess up completely. And continuously. That could also, could also happen as well. Shooting the wild blue. That's what it's all about. Going back up there, again, to shoot for the actual area. I definitely remember this also being frustrating for me because I would indeed shoot into the wild blue and miss because I didn't realize that if you wanted to not die, that's a grab the pole. Hit the pole, Mario! Hit the pole, Mario! Oh my god. Mario, please. That's what it's all about. Oh my god. Hey. Oh, jeez. Get in there. Get in there. Get in the hole, Mario. Thank you. Thank you. Hit the quan, Mario! I can't do it! Nice. Nice pole slide there, bud. <laughs> He's a maniac! Maniac! <laughs> this is Mario, like, pole dancing, just going around and around and around. Nice. I think four more stars remain in my journey today. That's the plan for myself, at least. I think I'm gonna call it quits after that. Getting t I'm tired today. I don't know why, but I am tired. Maybe it's the fact that- I don't know. I think- Did we gain an hour? I think we gained an hour. And yet somehow I'm still tired. It's okay. It's fine. Just how it needs to be. Oh my god, I can't- Whoa, that was so cool! That was like speedrun strats. It was so good. And then that shit happens, and I lose faith in myself completely. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Hey buddy. Hey, you wanna give me your coin? Give me your coin! Thank you. Bring me... Bring me your sustenance. Thank you. Sustenance achieved. Sustenance! Oh my god. <laughs> susty, susty sustenance. Susty, susty sustenance. Bring food into my tummy. I don't know. I don't know where else I'm going with that. Spooky season is basically over, you know? Spooky scary skeletons has no place here anymore. It just, it just does not.
Oh my god, please! No! Ah! I have nothing to gain here. Oh look, a red coin. I had everything to gain there. I would have forgot about that. Oh my god, I thought maybe I could run up, but it would not work that way. Nope, not at all. It's actually more difficult than I thought it would be attempting to play this on an Xbox controller with the with the emulator because I'm not used to these controls. Like, I'm just, I'm not used to this type of Mario. I miss, I miss my little third hand control stick in the middle where my thumb can rest easily. I miss those days. Was there a red coin on this pole? I feel like there was. Maybe? That, or this is just my excuse to be able to go up the pole and watch Mario shake that thing. Pole? There's no red coins. However, get a load of this move. Anyway. That was fun and slightly unusual. But it was, it was good. It was hot. That's what it was. Mario's hot. Thick in this game. All right, well, apparently there's also something over there, too, so... Please don't. Please, please, whatever you do. Can I not? Um, the idea is to be able to proceed in that direction properly. Ah, no! Oh, I've fallen! Oh, but I killed him. Nice. Oh, no, please. That was pretty good! I didn't even plan that one. Oh my god, hi. Now, if we could potentially... That's the buzz that they were talking about. No, please! Oh my goodness. There's so much struggle in one small level. I had wondered to myself, could I play this game for hours? I don't think I could. I don't think this is a game that I could play for hours. I feel like I get too frustrated just playing it. Like, this is one of those games that just like, after a while, I get so tired of it. A lot of games do not do that to me, but for some reason, Super Mario 64 just does. And I feel like it has that effect on people. Games used to be exhausting. Now you can spend hours and hours and not get tired. Up until the wee hours of the morning. You got it. You got it. Yeah, just wobbly wobbly. Wobbly wobbly wobblies. And if we walk carefully across this board, no harm will come to us. No harm at all. No harm at all. No harm at all. None. Absolutely no harm. Nice job there, Mario. Proud of you. And then we'll do this. Yeah, nice. Yahoo. That's what it's all about. I hope this is not... Okay, great. That was actually exactly what I had hoped it would be. Nice. Now, if you push me off the edge, I swear, I swear. Nah, I actually... I, don't, I won't swear. I won't swear here. That'd be rude. That'd be rude to the people at large to be swearing at a time like this. Red coins? On the floating islands. How are they floating? The power of the power star is silly! That's why. That's how they're s doing their thing. Uh, let's do it again. Go back into it. Fall onto the caged island. How does one fall onto cage? Perhaps I need the power of flight. Or perhaps not. That was awesome. That triple jump? Awesome. Amazing. Great, great strats. Or from what I've been told, good strats. Oh my god, please. Yeah! Nice. How does one fall into the island? I guess I have to... Oh. Well, I suppose the wise answer would be to use the cannon that I completely missed. Alright. I have absolutely no idea where I'm supposed to aim for this, so I'm trying my best. Caged Island, here I come. Get him. I was close. I was pretty close. This, you know, perhaps it would be better for me to go to the top of the tower and then try to fall that way. What is the best strategy here? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. I gotta figure this one out for myself. Tower time! Tower time? Tower time. Nice. Oh, excellent. Excellent. So good. So, so good. My god, so good. Now I'm supposed to fall on top of it. How does one? I'm gonna do this! Oh my god, it totally worked! Here we go! 
Wow! I was not expecting that to work the way that it did. That's wonderful. Is that all the stars there? I think... Was that all the stars? Maybe it was. Did we get them all? Hey! Oh, well, I don't have the 100 coins. Ah. Uh, I do not want to get the 100 coins. I am here anyway. Time to die. I don't want to do the 100 coins. I'm going to do something more fun. Like beat up ghosts or something. Yeah. I'm going to go back out to the haunt. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to beat these ghosties. Come here, buddy. I always thought that one day I'd be able to catch that ghost, and then I did, and realized that there was nothing special about it. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Nice. Nice digs there, pal. Can I go inside your memory go round? Go on a ghost hunt. Oh, I didn't actually do that? Oh. I did not do things correctly. That's okay. I'll just head down to what I now know is called the factory. And then I'll just die or something. I go to the merry-go-round. There's a big old boo down there. Nice. Oh, this gives me... This brings me back. The memories of the merry-go-round. Thinking that I would gain something by hanging in here for a while. Right, that was the thing? That was the thing that they did, I'm pretty sure. They just kind of ground-pounded a bunch. Right? Was it not? Where's my ghosties? Where is my ghosties? Oh, well, maybe I have to click the right mission for that. That's so sad. No ghosties here. Oh, what a waste. What a waste of time. Gotta make my way all the way back up to the top. My goodness. It's okay. It's okay. I think we'll recover from this. We most certainly will. I think I remember from my watching of the game that there is no easy way to get back up. Oh my god, stop. No. Oh. No, 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 no. I fall into the ground. Okay. So that's a thing that I can do. <laughs> I figure while I'm down here, I'll practice my backward strats. I don't know how to do it, but... I don't know. I just like the sound that Mario makes when he yahoos, you know? That's what it's all about. Hey, what's up, Mr. Eyeball? I remember, that's that's what I remember. I remember coming up here and being terrified of this eyeball, specifically. Because I'd be like, I don't want to fall down into the merry-go-round because if I fall down into the merry-go-round, I have to come back and face the eye. And I did not know how to face the eye properly. I didn't know back then that you were able to kill it. Hello, Skeeters. Little Skeeters. Oh, do I have to be on this side of the building? I know there's a door back here. Is there not a door? I thought there was a door. I thought there was a back door. Oh, there's the back door. Completely missed the back door. Hello? Nice. Ghosts don't die. Ha ha! They do not. At least not, not in this universe, they don't. Nice booze. Ha 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 ha. Get the booze. Get, kill booze. Get money. That's what it's all about. I do not yet have the vantage cap, so I cannot go for that painting. It's kind of spooky that you can hear all the ghosts just kind of hanging around. Spooky dookie wookie indeed. Hello, piano. I'm not here for you. I've come for somebody else completely. Where are they, though? They are not here. I was in the wrong room the whole time. That's on me. But perhaps we can find a ghost in here! Come on, dude. Die. They do not die. Can you get out of here alive? I don't think you can. Ouch. Can I get out of here alive? No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die before I'm born again, you know? Maybe? No, that, doesn't, that actually doesn't sound right. That sounds bad. That sounds very bad. I got you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Nice. I think there's one more ghost. 
almost. Die, die. Give me, give him the Yetwa. Give him the Yetwa. Who? Boo! Tower of Terror, big boo. Ha ha. I need it. Now, where's my staircase? Bring me my. Oh, hi there. Ow. Come on now. Oh my god, I didn't know I could bounce off of him like that. That's so cool. <laughs> That's awesome. That was so awesome. I didn't realize I could I can do that. Ow. Nice. And now you're dead. And the star is at the top of the stairs. Right? Rise for me. R rise, platform. Bring me up top. I think I got one more star that I'll collect. I'll collect one more star and I'll beat the shit out of Bowser. That's the plan. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get these ghosts too. And a little dog or something. Ooh, excuse me. That was a rather unpleasant burp and it was right into the microphone too. So to those who take offense to that, I apologize. To those who are into it, you're welcome. Dude. Yeah, I, I figured that was gonna happen. That was that was definitely going to happen. All the way back out to the front of the castle. That's that's on me. That's my bad. I got the wing cap, so I can go back to Bob on Battlefield. Bob 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 Battlefield. That's what it's all about. I can get the last star there. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I just gotta take to the sky. And I don't believe that this is the fastest way of doing that, so we'll see. Maybe, can I, can I get up there from here? I don't think that I can. I don't remember. Let's try it anyway. Bop. Not at all. It actually did not help in the least bit. Oh my god. We'll get that out of the way, and then, and then we'll, and then we'll continue on with the rest of our night. This has been an absolute joy so far. Now the plan will be, I'm gonna be back on Wednesday doing some Super Mario cocktails. That's what I got. It's written behind me. It kind of says, per, per, aro, cocktails. Because the lighting makes it very hard to see. But nonetheless, it'll be good. It should be fun. I still don't have my repertoire set up yet, so I need to figure out what the hell is on the menu. Uh, but it, it should, it, it could be cool. It could be cool. It could also not be cool. It could be completely terrible. Oh my god, please. No. Oh, Mario, please. The secret. You didn't get the secret. I thought maybe. Nope. I thought perhaps there might have been a chance. Oh my god. That's great. Nice. I think I also remember seeing commented on the stream that it, if you land with a certain angle, it remembers that angle. Like you can curve to a side. Oh, you can. Oh my god. No, it didn't work the way that I wanted it to. Oh no. Wow, that was insane. Oh my god, get into the into the thing. Into the canon. Canonically get into the cannon so I can fly. Fly me to the absolute moon. Nice. To the absolute moon. To the absolute moon. As, a, as opposed to the not so absolute moon. A very, a very relative moon. Whoop, there we go. I need another one. I need a recharge. And I also need to do that at a better angle, because I did not do that very well. So I want that coin, I think. I think. Me thinks. Me thinks. Hate this. Hate this. Oh my god. I believe in you. Oh my god. Oh, I should have gone upwards faster. But that's okay. I can go and get this one, right? Nice. Maybe I can very carefully go back down and get this other one here. Oh my god. Exactly like that. Yes. I think the rest of my flying power. I just go around and hang for a bit. Nice. That worked perfectly. Time to go kick Bowser's ass. Or rather, I'm not gonna kick it. I'm gonna swing it. I'm gonna grab him by the tail and I'm gonna swing his ass into a little bomb.
the bomb thing. I don't remember whether you get a star from um, Bowser in the Dark World. I think you just get a key. I don't think you actually get a star from that. I know there's red coins there too, but I don't plan on doing that. Not tonight. Not tonight. Maybe another day. Reacting to the star's power, the door is open to reveal Princess Bowser? Bowser confirmed. <laughs> You've stepped right into my trap just as I knew you would. I warn you, friend. Watch your step. Because in the dark world, Bowser don't play by the rules. It's scary around here. That that actually saved my butt. Nice. No, stop. Mario, please. Okay, that's, that's honestly okay. That's okay. Nope. <laughs> I thought that I could do something cool. I cannot. I could not. I am not cool enough for Bowser. I'm just, I'm just not cool enough for the Dark World. I'm only cool enough for Cool Cool Mountain, because it's kind of in the name. It's implied. I'm also cool enough for, uh, for some amps, for some big old wattage. That's good too. Good fun and dandy. Oh my god! That's, that's cool. Grab out of that cheese, but you know that, that block there kind of looks like yellow cake. Because it is yellow, like the cake. And the cake is apparently only yellow because of the presence of egg yolks in the cake. But in addition, the cake is also a lie. But I'm pretty sure we already knew that. Get him, Mario. Get him. Get him the thing. Nope. Okay. Well, could have done that a lot better, but nope. Into the warp pipe. I'm gonna kick Bells in the face. Tough luck, Mario. Princess Toadstool isn't here. <laughs> Go ahead. Just try to grab me by the tail. You'll never be able to swing me around. A wimp like you won't throw me out of here. Never. <laughs> but but I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. Watch this. Watch this! That didn't work at all. But I'm gonna do this instead. I don't know which direction to throw you. Ah, that kind of worked. Oh, I was close. I was close. Oh my god. Bowser. Come here, Bowser. Bowser. Nope, I, I was not planning on doing that. There we go. Go get him. <laughs> Big giant explosion. That's how you that's how you end a Koopa's reign. Nice. Oh, I was a bit careless. This is not as I had planned, but I still hold the power of the stars. And I still have Peach. <laughs> You'll get no more stars from me. I'm not finished with you yet, but I'll let you go for now. You'll pay for this. Later. Later, alligator. Peace out until next time, Mario. You big big dummy. Nice. Do the long jump into the key. And now I can unlock the tower next time. Congratulations. Congratulations. Bowser in the Dark World clear as opposed to okay, I suppose. All right. Well, that was fun. That was nice for now. I think now is a good place to call it an evening for the an evening. Call it an evening for the evening. Yeah, that's a that's a bit of a I, just, I say things twice around here. And with that, I'm going to leave everybody for now. This is fun. I like this game, although apparently it's not much of a stream game for me because I just, I get tired over it. It doesn't, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel like a continue until midnight kind of game. At least not today, at least. This was fun nonetheless, though. It's nice to be able to live in the nostalgia. Maybe, maybe the reason why is it just, it just hits differently nowadays as opposed to what it did back then. The music still hits well for me, at least, but... Perhaps the gameplay, potentially not. In any case, I had a fun time. This was very, very excellent. On Wednesday, we're going to be taking this idea of Super Mario and making it into cocktails. That's what it says back there, because it's a teaser for Wednesday. So I hope to see you all then back at the bar. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be wearing my Mario hat, too. Not like an official Mario hat. It's a Fire Mario-like baseball cap, but I look forward to it. And hopefully we'll see you all there. If not, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night, if it is the night where you are. I know Daylight Savings has kind of put a wrench into our plans, so if it's still the morning, maybe it's... Maybe usually it's dark, but now it's not. Or maybe it's light, and now it is dark for y'all. I don't know. Time is weird. And so, because of our weirdness in time, we'll just say, good. Not good day, not good night. Just good. So have a good, everybody. Have a good everybody indeed. Until next time, y'all. Bye.